Hello, Zoe. My name is Yoshi, and this is my coursework to video player. Uh, today, I will introduce my design of ten minutes lesson. There are five parts of my lesson plan, and the first part is to warm up. Uh, the activities uh, designed in this part is to let the students uh, to look at a few pictures. The, fi uh, the pictures is about some foreign food. And they will discuss with uh, empires about the experience or stories or what is the advantages and disadvantages of these foods. And during this process, they will familiar with each other and familiar with the topic. And the time used in this first part is one minute to two minutes. And after this part, um, I will give students a chance to present their ideas in front of the class. This step can make sure that a student can communicate in front of the whole class to build up their confidence. And then uh, everyone can exchange their ideas about uh, the same foreign food. And maybe they can get some uh, similar ideas or maybe opposite ideas to enrich their opinions about this topic. And during this process, maybe some good students can find out the uh, main topic of this lesson. The topic of the lesson is uh, culture shock. During this the discussion of the foreign food, they may be focused on the differences between the, their Chinese food and other foreign food. So th that's a good warm up, I think. And then they will get a piece of paragraph, a piece of paper of the paragraph. In the paragraph, there is uh, some concepts of the culture shock. Uh, the identification of this uh, uh, topic in the lesson. And uh, they can read the paragraph by themselves and underline some important words they think. Maybe they can just underline the words they didn't know or just uh, underline uh, the important words they think. And then they will have around three minutes to discuss in the group with their partner about the uh, advantage or disadvantage or their own understanding of these words. Maybe they can uh, get some real meaning of the vocabulary that they didn't know through the team they discussed. And then teacher will give some correct answers in front of the class, maybe through the PowerPoint presentation or other blackboard. And then students can discuss uh, the results of these words. But uh, to check uh, that uh, whether they have understand these words, uh, teachers will uh, give out some filling the gaps or some activities to check whether they have control the real meaning in the sentence used. In this part, students can fill in the gaps of the words or sentences or maybe some grammar, uh, they can check that whether they have know the words or whether they didn't know the words. And then they will have a few minutes or a few seconds to discuss or check the answers in the group. And the teachers will give the answer in front of the class. That is the main four parts of the 10 minutes lesson. And then the final part, maybe that is the most important part of the whole lesson plan. Uh, that is the final step called consolidation. Consolidation is an essential part of uh, any class, I think, because uh, only if the students can consolidate or can understand or can still use the words in their daily life, they can no, they can remember the words exactly. So in the consolidation process, students maybe can discuss first uh, to talk about what's the, the most memorable words in this class and to compile the answers with their partners or in the front of the class. And they can exchange some ideas. 
Maybe you want to know say that the most important or most memorable words I think maybe is a culture. But other students didn't agree. They will have a discussion during this process, and then teachers will show the PowerPoint presentation of the class from the first page to the end. To give them the outline or the framework of the whole class, and teachers may emphasize or focus on the objectives of this class. That is all the description of my lesson plan.